Hello everyone, welcome to my Necreal Slayer Guide. In this Slayer Guide, we'll be going over things you need to know about Necreals, how to get to them in multiple locations, requirements, and things that Necreals drop. Necreal are a level 115 combat Slayer monster that require 80 Slayer to kill and give 105 XP per kill. They drop items such as Rune Boots, Runeful Helms, and Snapdragon Seeds, as well as many other Herb Seeds and Assorted Drops. They are located in two locations, that would be the Stronghold Slayer Cave and the Slayer Tower. They can be assigned both by Neve and by Duradil. Necreal have no real requirements apart from the level 80 Slayer requirement, so when it comes to gear you should wear things that maximize your strength bonus and basically maximize the speed at which you can kill these monsters. Items such as the Slayer Helm or the Black Mask are very very useful in all of Slayer tasks and I recommend that you have them for Slayer to begin with let alone of course for your Necreal's task. Other items such as the Fire Cape and Berserker Ring Eye are great boosts to your strength bonus which will increase your kill speeds. Apart from that just wear the gear that best boosts your strength bonus so for example if you can afford Bando's Tassets and a Bando's Chestplate feel free to wear that. Uh, what I am wearing is a cheaper alternative Fighter Torso and Varex Skirt those are also very good items to use for Slayer if you cannot afford Bandos, and of course, Barrow's Gloves, Amulet of Fury, Dragon Boots are just standard items that you should be using when using melee on a Slayer task. Your weapon is going to ch change dependent upon what you want to train. I am training Strength, so I am using a Ceridoman Sword. If you are training Attack or Defense, you would want to use a Whip and a Defender. For your inventory, you are going to want to bring a Special Attack weapon, a Slayer Ring. Uh, a Slayer Ring is only required if you are going to be killing them in the Stronghold Slayer Cave like me. And it, it is actually not required, it is just very useful in that it has a teleport to the Slayer Cave. You don't want to bring some supersets. Defense aren't really necessary, so I just bring Super Attack and Strength. An Emergency Teleport, just because, why not? Runes for NPC Contact, if you are using it. If not, of course, ignore the runes. Guthans for healing if you have it, and a couple of emergency food. I highly recommend that you do your Necreal Slayer task in the Stronghold Slayer Cave, as it is much easier to get to the Stronghold Slayer Cave than it is the Slayer Tower, and uh, it is a little bit faster to get to the Necreals themselves once you are in the cave. Not to mention, it is very close to a bank and very close to a Slayer Master in which you can cancel a task if you get a bad one if you are using NPC Contact. That being said, let's head into the cave and I will show you the quickest way to get to them. Once you have entered the cave, begin running south. I'm going to be using a shortcut which requires 72 agility, but if you're using summer pies like me, you actually only need 67 agility because it boosts you by 5. If you can use this agility shortcut, this is an extremely fast task to get to. So just follow my path, running south past the Bloodvelds. Eat your summer pie if need be and climb on the mud pile. And there you have it. You are at Necreal. Very nice. But, not all of you are going to have the agility requirement. That being said, I will show you the long way to run around and get to them. So I will start over right here next to the Bloodvelds. You just ran south and rounded the corner and you are now here. You're going to carry on running straight west past the Bloodvelds, the Hellhounds, and of course the three rooms of Aberrant Spectres. You do not need a hatchet or anything like that for this, so no worries, you don't need to bring anything. Once you get past this room of Aberrant Spectres, you're going to want to run straight south past the Greater Demons over here. And I am out of run, I do apologize. <laughs> Just carry on going south. You will see some Ankus. Then you're going to want to turn east, and you're going to have to step over this root. Carry on east some more. You may encounter some water fiends, which will usually hit you, but that's okay. Step over another root. Continue running east past the Abyssal Demons. Turn north. Again, past the uh, other part of the Abyssal Demons. There will be another root right here you want to step over. Step over that root. Head a bit northeast, and here we are once again at Necreals. So which either, me which either method you chose to get to Necreals, once you are there, you're just going to want to pot up. Set your quick prayers to Piety. If you do not have Piety, you can set your quick prayers to Ultimate Strength and Incredible Reflexes. And I will show you why we are setting these quick prayers. 
So once you're here, say your quick prayers, pot up, and attack one. A lot of people like to use piety while in their slayer tasks, but that is unnecessary and is a waste of prayer, po prayer potions. Excuse me. What you can do is set your quick prayers to piety, and every time you are about to swing your sword, you just quickly flick on your quick prayers. That way you are getting the bonuses of piety, but you are not needing to use prayer potions. So this is a very effective way of killing them if you are flicking piety. Very fast task, as you can see they have fairly low defense as I just hit a 47. And you will basically just tear through them. Oh, and I did get a snap seed. Okay, see, they're not bad drops, they're not outstanding drops, but they are a decent money task. And they are a very fast task, and a decent task at that. That being said, once you're here, just carry on, finish your task, heal up when necessary, and enjoy them Slayer gains. Hope you guys all enjoyed my first ever Slayer God on Old School RuneScape. If it was helpful, feel free to leave a like and let me know. And with that, I will see you all later.